Good morning, sheep fans! <laughs> Some boys are still. <laughs> Good morning sheep fans, we are back with the islands today, islands slash Bothwicks, however you want to look at it. We are shearing their yows this time, they've just been reunited with the lambs after we've shown, there will be a lot of noise, maybe if I turn this way it's not so bad. The lambs and yows are just being reunited after being shown and they're just getting shifted off to the field here. So when the ewes and lambs have been separated for a little while, that's what I'll be shouting is, that's them trying to find their mums again and get reunited, so it'll be hard for them when they're in a mass like that, but when they get back in the field and get spread out, they'll all pair up again, and it'll be all good, they'll be happy and quiet. them feel human because if they say like if Custy Island can do it we can all do it it's like Barry with uh, the click bottle they're on way up the other week oh I saw that uh, I do watch your vlogs do you? I don't entertain you oh good a little bit of noise in the background but I'll just explain what's happening here Ali over here is shedding the mums out from the lambs so the ewes are getting split from the lambs the sheep here at this farm it's a black face shows everyone always wants me to talk about the breeding and things so these are black faced yows and I quite often get comments, I see mules a lot and people sit here mule and they think like donkeys or some sort of horse, I don't know but I'll just show you just now what a mule is so we say mules, Scot these will be Scotch mules would be the correct term but basically the, the, the mothers are black faced yows as I've explained before I believe and the mothers I'm just trying to dodge the mothers here. So the mothers are black face shells and they produce these Scotch mule lambs. The blue faced Lester is the father and this is what they look like here. The wee one with the horns is a blackie. So most of those lambs there are what would be Scotch mule lambs. 
So they come out, the blackface show, the blue face Lester Ram is the father, and that's what produces this. And the reason I like those is because the the blackface show is quite a hardy breed, a hill breed. So she's quite a hardy breed, and the blue face Lester is it's a much softer breed, but it's great maternal instincts. It's very it's a very kind sheep, a very milky sheep. So if you cross that with the hardiness of the black face, it produces this sheep that's a, a little bit of both. So you get you get a sheep that produces a good high, uh, it's prolific, so a good high scanning percentage, usually between 170 to 200 percent for meal yows. So you get lots of lambs. You also get the size of the blue face Lester, the milkiness, the kindness. So they produce nice big lambs. They have plenty of milk for those lambs and they're good mothers. Not that blackface shows aren't good mothers, they're just slightly different. On the blackface side you're getting the hardiness, they can stand outside in the Scottish winters. So it creates a perfect hour for the conditions here in Scotland and the UK. And what will happen is these male lambs, Ali and Kirsty here, they sell their male lambs at market. They don't keep any male ewes. The lambs are sold off to people like myself who work with mule sheep and they'll buy them in. They were the top when they sales them free slash here. They've actually got right good quality mule lambs here. Absolute crackers, as you can see in the video there. And if anything, the first pen of sheep we did, the lambs were even bigger. So they've got a great crop by looks of things this year. Thriving well. That's 300 finished here between myself and Barry. We're now moving on to see what the boss is doing. I'm going to leave the trailer here because we'll be back here to do the hill yows in the next day or so and also have another job just along the road so whatever I want to get to first it's handy enough to show I've been here I can come and pick it up so we'll push on let's get to the next job cheers good morning sheep fans it is another glorious Scottish summer morning here raining pretty hard just turned to a wee drizzle just now, it's not so bad. Today we're with the Boswells shearing blacky ewes. I'm with Archie again today. We're here in the first job of the morning. We're going to get a coffee, I believe. Good angle this down here. Hair's still ridiculous, as you can see. If the rain comes off, hopefully, I'm hoping to get some drum footage later, so hopefully the rain will go off. Oh, yeah, and look at my new stickle on the pickup. Taking it too far, far too far. Anyway, let's go. Good morning, sheep fans. Some man. You get a date as well. Do you do one? Do it together. I, I, do it together. Oh, you're not ready. Good morning, sheep fans. <laughs> Some boys, that's good. <laughs> Just like that. Just like that. So I'm going to try the voiceover for this part, never done a voiceover before, all new. So I'm sharing here with Archie, we're sheep for sheep, feeling great, I'm thinking, hey, I'm getting into this. We're both wearing pink, both looking class, blow for blow, I'm a few blows ahead there. All of a sudden, he's just creeping ahead, but it's like, it's alright, that's happens, tit for tat. Then he gets on this sheep, look at this undermine, boom, and he's up the neck, and all of a sudden, I'm on a caught one, and in about two seconds here, He's going to be a whole sheep ahead of me. And I thought it was going great. And I still, this was about three weeks ago, and I still remember that moment in that hut. But you've got to just keep pushing on. That's Sheehan. Well done, Archie. Well done. Okay, so first run done. Archie's on 111. I'm on. 110. A couple of times I thought I had him. I thought I had him, and just things just didn't work out as I'd hoped. My heart's in it though. I think today could be the day. I really do. I think this is it. To, although we're on the hill yows now, and Archie is a bit of a pro on hill blackies, so I'll just need to dig in. See how we go on. Try and try and hold on, and just what is it, Archie? Just try to try and hold on to the last run maybe put on a wee sprint at the end if you can just keep with them all the way till maybe 10 minutes left then you can maybe have a little sprint towards the end every day's a race and you only need to be one sheep faster than the man next to you 
Everybody wants to be the best, don't they? <laughs> so another voiceover here. Look at this spread that Laura put on. Chicken breast, fresh vegetables. Is that homemade coleslaw there as well? Oh, fantastic. And then homemade chocolate brownies for dessert with some fresh fruit and whipped cream. Look at that. Okay, so end of the second run there. Just had a lunch. Give you a wee update. Spirits were high. I was feeling motivated, feeling good. Got that first run in, I was like, oh, 110 sheep to 111, like I can do this today. You know, just a wee break of the ball. And I'll manage to do it. The scores now are, uh, obviously uh, the problem with that was I actually heard me saying those things and decided to actually start making a bit of effort. So the scores now are 216 for Archie versus 206 for Cami. Your arse is full And <laughs> I it just kind of, after they put about eight round me, I just thought, oh well, maybe next year. So anyway, we're on to the final run now, 120 or so to go here. We'll get cracked into them. Focus on. So someone asked me for a demonstration of an undermine. Now I've asked Archie if he would do the demo instead. So he's I've saved a couple of sheep here at the end. He's just taking the belly off this one and then I'll show you the undermine that he's doing. And what I'll do is I'll just voice over the top of it, the important parts here. Where I'm facing that way. Belly, you should be turning that toe out so that it's turning the sheep. So when you step in with the toe to do the hip, she's facing that way, these legs, and that lets you do that with that foot in and that one tucked under the backbone. And using this knee in the way, we'll keep the head. Hi. And then you step back with this one and in with that one. We'll let you get that one 
and that bit's the most important bit there. <laughs> the end of that one there I'm back home now didn't do a wee conclusion I ended up Archie 265 252 for Cami keeps the toe it's an easy win we did stop at the end and film those couple of sheep you saw there so that was worth another couple so he had me anyway quite easily he was sitting about 60 an hour at one point there and I was sitting maybe 53 54 so he easily opened up a gap but we had a great day and a great feed as always with the Boswells <laughs> Can I want abuse here for getting a hammer again, but I'll get him yet. I'll get him yet. He's getting older and slower every year. I'm just getting fitter and faster. But as always, if you're watching the video, leave a little comment, give it a thumbs up, make sure you click the subscribe button. That's the end of this one. Cheers.